Hi everyone, welcome back to Cybersecure TV. Uh, this week we'll be discussing the uh, heads up display, also known as Hood. Uh, this is a feature from the OWASP app which uh, effectively, like you know, cuts down the amount of time that uh, one has to spend during the penetration testing, and also it. Uh, it increases the effectiveness of the uh, of the pen test. So uh, I guess like you know the simplest way to put this down uh, the feature of this tool is how does uh, like for example you are testing a website and you have it open in the Chrome or browser or Firefox browser and then uh, you have to intercept a page after clicking on the submit button. So you go back you first click on the button on the browser you switch back to this app you intercept the request you modify whatever you have to you like you know forward the request back to the server now the server response will be reflected back to the browser and now you have to switch back to the browser to see the response so all this back and forth effectively is gone with this feature uh, and that is why like you know this is really cool because you can see all the relevant information or all the required information right on your screen in the browser just like you know similar to what you have see what you're seeing right now here so if you're playing a game and whatever the information that you want to see uh, will be displayed right there on the screen you don't have to pause the game and, and go back to the dashboard to determine how many lives left or or what's the health of this player etc right so all this information is displayed there and that becomes very convenient uh, because uh, you don't need to a proxy between uh, between the applications unless you have like you know two or three screens where you can have one uh, screen just for the browser one from the app but still not very effective because you still have to switch between the applications so let me let me show you what this feature is and and how you can effectively use during the penetration testing um, so let me open up this app Okay, so here is the Zap. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure like, you know, uh, which version you have, but uh, of course, the one that I'm using is the 2.10.0. Uh, so make sure uh, if, if your version does not support this hood, then make sure you go to the help and check for the updates and, and install the latest version. Now, this is the uh, arrow for the Zap. Uh, so right now it's enabled. Uh, you can easily disable by just clicking on this button. And what you want to do is uh, you have all this control, right? Like if you want to turn on the intercept, you want to uh, show enable fields and, and all of this feature will be available right through the browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm click on this browser. So it's going to you can also launch this uh, browser uh, using the command line uh, interface, but I'm just going to uh, do it from the UI. So now uh, you have uh, a browser, which is, uh, this feature is similar to what Burp has, like you can open up the browser uh, provided by uh, Burp, which is Chromium or something. So here, let, let's let's uh, type the application that we want to test, right? So in this case, I'm just going to type the demo.test file. And now, uh, as you can see, uh, since we have like, you know, uh, open up the browser using the hood, you will see some list of things on your left and right panel. So this uh, panel is designed in a way to take take the minimum uh, required screen. So you can still see and navigate through your website and, and you will still have this panel available all over here. Now, uh, all of these uh, features are configurable. So if you want to uh, uh, like you know add or delete something, you can always do it from here. And this is still an initial launch, so uh, probably like you know there might be some bugs or uh, something you may encounter, uh, which I'm sure Zap team will fix it. Uh, but right now it's still a good feature because I, I've been I've been starting to using uh, use this uh, for past couple of months. Although I'm not a big Zap fan, I'm, I'm, I'm I like to use Burp a lot due to its capabilities, but I still use Zap on certain occasions. So. Uh, starting from the right hand side here, uh, so this will this will show you the site tree, right? So uh, which which was available. So for example, if you want to uh, dig deep and, and see uh, the tree of the site that you're testing, you can easily go here. You don't need to go back to the app for that. Here you can turn on and turn off the spidering, uh, which is which is good because uh, so. Of course, when you want to uh, spider any application, you have to first add it to the scope, right? So scope will be here. So here you can uh, you can see uh, and 
uh, while we are adding the spider ink it does the passive scan and all the findings that it generates it displays notification right here such as like in your facebook notification or something so it generates all the notifications so you don't need to go back to this app and and, and go to the screen of the scan results to find out so that's the spider ink now you can also do the ajax spider ink so the application uh, uh, which is using heavy JavaScript uh, you can uh, that's uh, like you know this is a bit slow than the normal spidering but it still gives you effective results if the application is using much more JavaScript uh, this is to do the active scan uh, we all know uh, what the active scan is I've done uh, I think a couple of videos uh, on it as well uh, but this is the attack mode so what it's gonna do is uh, if you turn it on um, the page you are testing, uh, are like you know, will start uh, doing the uh, uh, like doing the active scan on it. So, for example, let's say if we go to the search page, so here it's gonna uh, test that uh, all the vulnerabilities or all the rules that the Zap has. Now, if I go to the login page, it's gonna uh, test all the uh, all the login pages as well. Attack mode uh, that it was. Now here it generates like you know all the findings that generate from the active or passive scanning you can see here and it's self-exploratory like the red flag is the high then this is medium low and informational now you can click on any of this it will tell you what the finding is so here it says the cross site scripting and as you click on one of this you will find the more details so for example this one XFM options header you click here it should show you a detailed request and response um, Uh, let's see. Cut. Okay. Yeah, so it took uh, more than, I guess, 30 seconds to load this page uh, due to some network issue. But anyway, uh, we are back now. So uh, after you turn on the attack mode, it's going to attack each and every page uh, which you browse so something like you know uh, in burp what I used to do is I browse the page I, I right click and send it to the active scanner it's gonna scan the page here uh, as soon as you turn the attack mode on uh, it's gonna scan whatever the page you are on and also the it's it's gonna maintain the history of the pages and then start attacking one by one it's gonna show you all the findings here so red means high this is uh, medium low and informational and you click on this and then you can see all the information about these findings and and what is uh, like you know uh, also the urls that this uh, finding uh, were detected so this is straightforward now this one is also interesting so like it's comments so when you click on it it's going to show you these little yellow boxes and when you when you mouse over it it's going to tell you what the com comments are so uh, like you know sometimes uh, we have seen uh, we, we can find some information in the comments as well so if you uh, if you are, if you want to see that you don't need to right click and uh, go to the HTML source and, and see the comments you can just go here and mouse over and, and pretty much uh, uh, find everything that you need so I'm going to disable it for now uh, this is the like you know configuration uh, that if you want to take the tutorial you don't know uh, how to use certain things you want to see the change log everything uh, this will uh, this is to enable or disable so what we uh, saw on the zap itself so here as you can see uh, you can turn on the zap or here uh, from here as well and same thing you can do like you can turn off the zap uh, from here right uh, this is uh, the history so all the requests uh, will be logged here you can click on any of the requests and you can see the request response you can also replay in console you can active scan you can replay in the browser as well so this is a good feature and also the websocket connection if this application is using uh, you're gonna find all the websocket uh, related uh, communications uh, here uh, going here uh, this uh, we briefly talked about like so anything uh, you want to add update the scope uh, you can you can do it uh, you can also add the new site uh, I don't want to remove this one um, this is uh, to intercept so for example if I have it on and if I click here it's gonna intercept the request uh, if I want I can modify something and then continue or step or drop the request right so that's uh, pretty much it uh, same feature as what the zap has offered right uh, oops let me know 
Ah, sorry, let me see. Uh, to, okay, so this is now off. Uh, this one, uh, some fields are like, you know, uh, restricted by developers to not editable on the UI. So if you enable that, if you enable this one, then certainly you will be able to um, edit those fields. So like, you know, Zap will remove that restriction from JavaScript or whatever uh, to allow you to uh, make the edits on those fields. I don't know if this site uses any of those fields which I can dem demonstrate to you, uh, but that, that's the feature it uh, essentially does. And the rest of the things, uh, yeah, these are the findings uh, on the page, uh, on the, this particular page. So here it shows the findings for the applications. Here it shows the findings for a given page as you browse. So uh, let me see if here we have any, I, okay, there is, there is no uh, field which I can show you to this. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you test through, just, just make sure uh, to use this, uh, to allow you to uh, edit all those fields and, and try out your injection tags. Uh, this is to report, like if you want to uh, generate the HTML report, uh, then you can click on here and, and you can give, uh, you can see all the information here. This is also really quick and easy to do it. So, and of course, as I said, like you can add any new tools or uh, scripts you want to add uh, from here and scripts are very powerful for SAP. So, definitely uh, uh, use those as well. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much uh, what I wanted to cover. So as you can see, once you uh, launch the browser, you never have to, you, you, usually you never need to go back to the application and you can do pretty much all the necessary stuff from the uh, from the browser itself. And that's why I really like this tool. So I, 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 let me know like, you know, in the comments, uh, have you used this tool before? If not, uh, uh, try it out and let me know how you feel about it. What are the different things or changes that uh, you would like to see in this uh, to be added? Uh, probably we can make a request to the Zap team and uh, have it included in the future. And, and I really hope the Burp will also come up with the same uh, feature uh, uh, as soon as possible. So uh, I know that there's also a lot of uh, fan following uh, in our channel. So uh, hopefully it should be available soon as well. Uh, but that's uh, that's all I want to discuss. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, please hit the like button, uh, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel uh, for all the uh, weekly episodes and, and uh, feel free to reach out with any questions you may have. Thank you so much. Have a good one.